people fall in love with their hitmans and the sugar rays easily impressed like magic with the look away the punch is falling off me like i was dipped in cooking spray you'll take the stand and eight when i jab jab and hook away i'm kind it's of tired of all this talk and everything i'm just gonna tell you this i'm gonna knock him out that's all it is to it and that's the bottom line What's good with y'all? Welcome to the channel. Just wanted to chop it up with my people real quick. So listen, man. Who you got? At 140, who you got? Now, I'm 100% sure that 75% of y'all are going to pick Devin Haney. And if I was to ask you why, you would say because Devin Haney beat Campbell since until Fimo Lopez lost to Campbell since I ah, shut up. Shut up. That doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Styles make fights. Now, this fight is very intriguing at 140, and I'll explain to you why. Devin Haney is by far the most skilled fighter out of the so-called four kings, but I always saw Teofimo Lopez as the most balanced fighter out of the so-called four kings. He's a master of nothing, but he's great at everything. Now, the only way Devin Haney beats Teofimo Lopez at 140 is if by some prayer, he finds his man strength at 140. Listen, I got Teofimo Lopez beating Devin Haney by knockout. Yeah, I said it by knockout. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I'm out. Disrespectfully.